Welcome from the Fotokina 2014 where we have the brand new Panasonic camera here which is not only a camera but also a smartphone it's called the DMC CM1 um, by Lumix of course it's a Lumix series camera and it looks like a regular camera with the leather back here quite beautiful and a huge lens here but of course there's a Leica lens built in with a one inch sensor also the latest Snapdragon processor the 801 is built in and two gigs of RAM if you look at all the device you have some speakers here in the bottom and really nice leather design to make it feel right in your hand now on the top we have a few buttons like for example the shutter button you can easily start the camera on and off volume rockers you can see the name again here then on the top you not only have the 3.5mm um, headphone jack port but also micro USB for charging. There we go. And on the bottom you can of course open up here the camera and smartphones um, bottom cover right there to put in a micro SD card slot and a SIM card and also it's uh, probably in the future will be um, available to charge via a dock so you don't even need to open up anything. Now let's look at the Android. You can see that's Android 4.4.4 running, which is KitKat and the latest version of KitKat actually. And you can start the camera app by, of course, just hitting the camera button or just by sliding here down the camera slider. Here we go. And if I slide it down again, we even go back to the home screen, which is quite handy. But let's keep that open and we could just now easily shoot a picture of that pretty girl back there doing interesting stuff here with the book. But you can see how beautiful that looks like. But I haven't um, changed the aperture and everything right, so we can check that out how to do that. So if I go back, you can see that there's quite a few options up here on top. You can uh, see that we have a full HD MP4 shooting right now. You can go into the quick uh, shutter speed settings and now just twist here the little lens, which is actually sticking out a little bit. So if I twist that, you can see the shutter speed here going up and down. And in the black area will be um, the area where actually the camera tells you would be um, quite good right now. So there's even a little bit help inside, but you can also change here the aperture, the sensitivity, the ISO, and the shade. Battery is almost empty. It's a pre-production model. Um, you can go back and then you can, of course, shoot video. Turn uh, the display a little bit darker. And in the Q menu, you have here quite a few features for picture size, video size and all the other things that you would do like for example I just want autofocus or manual focus and I don't even need GPS right now so let's just leave that of course if you go to regular menu there's also quite a few options where you can change similar stuff but it's a quite good camera which also has a front camera of course built in right here for selfies two megapixels um, quite good you can see Mr. Fuchs there and me and of course you can use it as a regular smartphone, but it's not too big, not too heavy. And if you compare it to the um, Samsung Galaxy K Zoom, which is also the same feature tele um, smartphone with, this has a 4.7 inch Full HD screen actually. You can see of course from the front, the screen is a little bit bigger here on, the, on this phone. But if you look at the thickness, there's quite a, few, a little bit of difference. Of course, the Samsung has a 10 times optical zoom. The Panasonic doesn't, but the camera has a much bigger sensor and a much better feeling to it because it's all metal here on top and the leather just feels really quite right. And I didn't even mention the flash, but of course, you probably figured that. So thank you much for tuning in with the Panasonic DMC CM1 camera here at the uh, Photokina 2014. My name is Balazs. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you much for watching.